Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about a website that popped up for Celsius which obviously had a breach of data, huge privacy concerns and now there's a specific website where you can look up the top 10 list and continue going down and how much exactly was lost in CEL and other tokens and the top person on that list has over $40 million in losses. When you look up this individual, you can't necessarily find someone who might match the profile, but there is a couple candidates and nothing seems out of the ordinary. So just a normal dude with $40 million. And this is after the price of Bitcoin and CEL and pretty much everything went down. So it's safe to assume maybe that individual, if this was real, if this was legitimate, had anywhere from 50 to $100 million before everything started going down. So it's safe to assume that this person's still most likely a millionaire and they're doing just fine, but definitely $40 million less. However, most of the people on the list have a couple million in losses, four, five, 10, 20 million. And it turns out that this list is not entirely accurate. Other people have gone through the PDF documents and were able to find discrepancies where instead of losing 40 million or 20 million or 100 or 10 million, um, it looks like there's six or seven figure amounts. Now, of course, people did lose still millions of dollars, and some of these individuals were also corporations. One of them was a Swiss investing company that just took other clients' money and Maybe they were investing that other money and they had some extra in the reserves and decided to put it into Celsius for whatever reason. But we do know that people still lost massive amounts of money. The list is not entirely accurate, so there's been rumors swirling around that that's how much these people lost. Um, still, it's rather strange that you're able to put these people and find them on Google, some of them, and they might be able to uh, you know, link to their addresses and other crypto profiles and other crypto websites. And that's a very uncomfortable situation. So that's why we're not going to be linking the website. That's why we're not going to be mentioning any of these individuals' names. Um, also, again, the, the amounts that are there, they're false. However, uh, one, of the person, uh, one of the persons on the list is also an individual who was involved in a robbery last year where he lost millions of dollars. Uh, seems just he's having a very unlucky time. A lot of these people looks like they were lucky from the get-go because seems like they were normal average folk who probably got rich when Bitcoin was starting to go up crazily and made millions or even potentially tens of millions of dollars. But unfortunately, they fell afoul with Celsius. Now, what's interesting is one person who we can name is Alex Mashinsky. And when we take a look at the executives taking out $17 million in withdrawals days before you know everything went down, it's interesting to see that Alex Mashinsky on that list had only $15,000. Now, again, it could be potentially inaccurate, so maybe he had even less. Uh, but $15,000 for someone who already knew that the company was going down and was withdrawing millions of dollars, it's funny to see that and other people losing millions of dollars. It's actually ironic and sad. So, again, this just goes to show that you should never keep if you have these giant sums of money, everything in a centralized exchange. And if you do, at least for you know trading purposes or whatever, um, keep maybe 10, 15%. And then the rest, put it on a cold storage hard wallet. Maybe have a couple of them go to nuclear option, put them in a bunker or whatever, and, and be safe for the end of time. Now, in many of these cases, again, these people had probably millions of dollars elsewhere. So some of these guys might have been billionaires or potentially multimillionaires that this was just a drop in the bucket for them. Um, but others might have had their life savings involved. And usually these are the upper middle class and middle class individuals who maybe had one or two chosen exchanges and kept their money there and thought everything would be safe. But ever since the invention of Bitcoin, ever since we go back into the early days and Mt. Gox, we have to be very careful. So uh, I grew careful after the fact that Coinbase banned me. And that was just frightening because I did have Bitcoin on there. I was able to withdraw it. But what would happen if I wasn't able to? And that was without warning. Coinbase just randomly banned me. I can assume what they banned me for. But it's just an assumption. I never got an exact answer. For those wondering, this was a long time ago when I received donations. And maybe some of those donations came from addresses where I know Coinbase, this is a fact, Coinbase works with verification companies that look through the paper trail, essentially. And if there's any address, even if it was 5, 10, 15 transactions ago, if it's a dark address, if it's had any dirty money come from the dark net markets, 
um, then at that point they flag everything. And if you're one of those people that had amounts donated to them, they're not going to know the difference whether it was donated or maybe you're selling some goods or whatever. And then, and then they're just going to automatically ban you. So it's a very frightening thought after that. Definitely a lot more people are going to be interested in DeFi and DEXs, decentralized exchanges where you might have a little bit more autonomy. And with that, um, Celsius on October 20th, it's 11th going on to the 12th, so in roughly a week or so, we will see them selling off their assets for bankruptcy proceedings and whatever. And obviously the data and the customers and whatever is still inside, um, which is hundreds of millions to over a billion dollars at this point at this point it is going to go to the highest bidder and there's obviously a couple people who are interested one of them being ftx and sam bankman freed and a couple of the other big players in crypto uh, but it's looking more and more so that people are not going to recover anything really or pennies on the dollar eventually but it's going to be like mount gox where people still eight years later are waiting and it's a very long drawn out process so Pretty crazy. The Celsius saga continues. Again, massive breach of privacy. Some people were reporting that, you know, it, it, on that website they had over $100,000 lost when really they lost twenty-five dollars or $100. So wildly inaccurate. But still, some of those amounts might be close to the truth. Anyways, thanks for watching.